Hello Trinity Church family, my name's Andrew. I hope that you're doing as well as can be uh, as possible during this time. As part of our Lent devotional, I'd like to share some thoughts with you from John chapter 17, uh, specifically verses 20 through to 24. Jesus is praying. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Jesus has just finished praying for his disciples in the previous part of the chapter and now he turns his attention to every believer that will follow uh, through the disciples' ministry, <clears throat> which includes you and includes me. Jesus prays that we, we would be one, just as he and his Father are one. He prays that the believers are unified in such a way that completely mirrors him and his Father. I don't think it's easy to be unified sometimes as Christians. Uh, I think it's very easy to tell that in the church today sometimes. Um, sometimes it's difficult. Uh, it's not what we feel like doing. Uh, but to be unified, to be one, uh, sometimes we have to make that choice uh, and to love in an action uh, before we feel it. I also think it's, in, it's notable uh, that Jesus says that all this for a reason. He prays that we are one, that we are unified, the purpose being so that the world may believe that God sent Jesus. It's part of our witness to the world, how unified we are as Christians, uh, and it speaks to the world of how much God loves them. Moving on to verse 24, Jesus continues, Father, I want you to, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Jesus wants you and me to be with him where he is. This verse to me echoes of the future, specifically the new heavens and the new earth when God makes everything new and we will see Jesus face to face, but fully in his glory. This verse echoes um, of Jesus' majesty, his royalty, his rule and reign. And this is a place where we can be ultimate uh, human beings, that we ultimately become fully human beings uh, in the presence of God and his glory. Let's pray. Father God, we love you and we praise you. Jesus, we thank you that you thought and prayed for us before you went to the cross for us. Thank you that we were in your thoughts. Help us to be unified as you prayed. Jesus, help us firstly to be unified with you and out of that, may our unity as Christians flow. And Jesus, we know that one day you will come back as King. King Jesus, the lion. You came before as the lamb, but you're coming again as the lion. Jesus, we look forward to your rule, your reign, and we just praise you. We look forward to your return. Thank you that you love us and prayed for us. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen.